Hi guys, so um, welcome back to the channel. So just a quick one, uh, got to go to work in about 10 minutes. So just made a little update to my theme script. Thanks to David Marty, he's, uh, he's amazing that bloke, really helps me out and I couldn't do most of this stuff without him. So theme script, if you've already got it installed, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I, I did a, um, an update just recently on the, the layout of the code. If you haven't installed the script and you're interested, I'll post a link to a, the other video where you, where you can install it. Um, but basically it's all my emulation station themes plus a randomizer, so each time you boot, you um, get a new theme. So what I'll do is I'll just jump into the, um, the script, so it's Hersey's themes. And I might just stop there. There's a new little image. It says Hersey's 1000 Themes and Randomizer. So the first little announcement, I suppose, or a little milestone for myself is um, I have 1000 emulation station themes, which is ridiculous. Um, started out just making the odd theme, ones and twos, and it crept along, and I had uh, 60 odd, and then then it came up when David and I were talking, we came up with this randomizer idea. I came up with these big groupings of themes and I started with the, I call them mini suite themes. I originally was going to make 100 of those and then I made 200 of those and then 200 and something. And then I got some other ideas and um, I got to roughly five, just over 500 and I thought, well, that's a strange number. I better take it to 600. So I made a, a few more, got it to 600, and I, I'm a bit OCD with numbers. I thought, well, 600's a weird number, so I wonder if I could take it to 1,000. So I came up with an idea of a, a batch of themes, which I'll show you in a moment. And if you've been following my channel, you, you would have seen them already. I've been previewing them. Um, yeah, and it, I got to 1,000, which was a stack of work. Making them is enough work, but the process of getting them on GitHub, etc., is yeah, very boring and time consuming. Um, but anyway, so when you um, launch the, th uh, the the script, sorry, after you've got it installed, uh, the first thing you'll want to do is the update. And when you update it, um, it will all change. Whether you're coming from the original one, it will really change. If you're coming from the previous version, uh, it'll, it's adding four more options um, to the bottom. So we'll just, I'll run through this quickly because I've done a, another video on this already. You've got the update, the script, you've got enable and disable, um, the randomizer, um, you've got the mini suite themes, there's a few hundred of those, the cool themes, the spin themes. So they're all group ones, there's hundreds in there. The 16 by nine ones, that's my normal themes, Magazine Madness, Guard Crazy, uh, those ones. We've got a couple of five by four, uh, which is sort of aspect ratios. Um, if you've got that type of monitor, we've got two vertical themes. If I end up doing more themes, I'll make some more of those. And then we've got into these, uh, these latest ones, which is the chromy blue, the chromy green, and the chromy neon. And there's 133 or something, each of those, and that's how I came up with the, the remaining 400 themes um, that I needed. And I'll show you those just quickly in a moment. I might show you those three, plus the, um, the spin ones, the cool ones, and the mini ones. And then right down the bottom, I got asked David if he'd kindly had one more option for me, which is Hursty's Picks, which is just a list. I think there's 19 in there at the moment, and I may change or add to that. But that's just the themes that I'm probably most proud of, most popular, like. Problem with a lot of these earlier ones, um, like the Box Alloys, even Card Crazy, a lot of them. I made probably one or two years ago and they're a little bit out of date. I might get around to updating them, no promises there, there's a stack of work in that, but um, yeah, there's a, there's a few good ones that I'd like to update, so maybe if I stop making new things we can do that. 
All right, so that's, um, yeah, when you go inside, let's go into the chromey blue. Yeah, it's just all, and you can see all the blue themes here. You can see I've got the Batman blue um, already installed. Okay, let's get out of there and just have a look at a couple of these new themes. So this is the, um, this is in the blue series, the chromey blue series. Um, and it's the Super Smash Brothers one. Um, the system view, we'll just jump into, I don't know, say Genesis. Yeah, it looks like that. The blue, green and neon are all almost identical apart from the, the background and the, the sort of the, the scheme of it, the look and feel of it. So that's the blue in Smash Brothers. Let's check out the green in Smash Brothers. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Different font, same layout. I think it's nice and clean. Um, probably like the um, the neon one the best, to be honest. Blue is probably my least favourite. Um, green would be my second. These chrome ones, but yeah, I think the neon one just has a bit of a good retro look about it. So that's what it looks like. But in all these group ones, we've sort of got, what else, we've got the cool themes. I think they were done just before these chromey ones. There's the Smash Brothers one again. It's quite clean too, good, nice sort of clean colours. Uh, the spin ones, decide to do something with a curved wheel carousel, which is something that's not done that much. It's it's pretty effective. Not quite as clean. I think that black carbon's probably a little bit too strong, but meh. It is what it is. And what have we got? And then the sweet themes. So there's six sort of group ones. There's three chromey ones. The sweet, spin, and cool. <laughs> so out of all those, there's probably Geez, maybe 900 themes, something like that. Um, these mini sweet ones, unfortunately, and there's well over 200 of those, so it's probably too much work to update them all. There's a few missing wheels of these later systems that uh, David Marty's introduced. A few weird and funky systems, but it covers all the main ones. So this build I've got here, I've been testing a few of these weird systems. But yeah, they're pretty um, effective as well. So that's that's it, guys. Um, it was just a quick video. I don't know um, what I'm doing from here. I've made a thousand things. I don't know if there's much point continuing. Um, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But um, who knows? I might uh, go back to a track mode or something. Anyway, guys, gotta go. See ya.